Hello everyone. If you happen to have a flight test easy ID, remote ID module like this one, and you want to get the GPS information from the module into Betaflight so that you can use it for return to home or show it on your OSD or whatever, there's a few tricks that you need to know to get it to work today. Now, I promise in the very near future, it's going to get much easier. But if you want to do this right now, here's the steps that you need to take to get it to work. So the first thing you need to know is that if you look up the wiring diagram or the pinout diagram for this flight test easy ID, this RX and TX are labeled incorrectly. They're actually swapped the other way around. This RX is the transmit and this R TX is the receive. And you don't actually need the transmit connected to make this work. You just need what's labeled here as RX or the second one from the left wire that to a RX on your flight controller. So it's going to send the signal from the flight test easy ID to a receive pad on your flight controller. Just pick any open UART that you happen to have. In my case, it's UART number two. And that's where I've got a wire soldered between the flight test easy ID and my flight controller. And in my case, um, I don't have the ground wired because I'm getting the power also from that part of my flight controller's board. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is in order to make this work, beta flight needs to be updated. Uh, as of the time that this is being recorded, uh, October 2023, Betaflight does not natively have support for talking to a GPS like this one over your an, an MSP connection. So what you need to do is get a nightly build or what's called the Zulu build of either Betaflight 4.4.3 or 4.5. Now, obviously, in the very near future, these full releases of 4.4.3 or 4.4.5 or anything newer than that is going to come out and they'll automatically have all the support built in. But again, if you need to do this, if you want to do this today, here's what you need to do. Um, you need to flash a more recent version of version of beta flight onto your flight controller. And to do this, to get a development version, you need to click the button to show, re uh, well, let's see, show release candidates in expert mode. And you want to do development. And um, here's my board, and I want to do version 443 Zulu pre-release. And I'm going to do a full chip erase, make sure everything's good. Uh, and then you want to make sure down here you're on the latest 44 maintenance. I think as long as you've got this one or newer, where it talks about the MSP2 sensor GPS, you're good. But I'll just say, pick this one that says latest 44 maintenance, load the firmware online, it might take a little while to build that. Wait till it says successful here. And then I'm going to flash that firmware to my board. Give it a minute and it'll be all done. Okay, that's all set. Oh, I should also mention, make sure you're on Betaflight Configurator version 10.90 or greater. And now that it's updated, I will apply the custom defaults. Wait for it to reboot and reconnect. And now here, there's some tricks in the configurator to get the GPS to work properly because uh, for some reason, it, the, the GUI is just a little bit confusing or maybe there's a bug. Um, the first thing you want to do is go into your ports tab. And in my case, I want to turn on UART2 to be MSP. So you want to connect this, whatever, wherever you connected that wire from the easy ID to your flight control or whatever UART you chose, Enable MSP on that, and you want to click Save and Reboot. And then you're going to want to go to your configuration, and you want to turn on GPS, and you want to change the protocol from uBlocks to MSP. Save and Reboot. And I can already see up here it says that I have GPS, and I go back to the configuration, uh, and go down here to GPS, and you can see I'm already getting latitude, longitude, altitude, 3D fix, and my location. So that's really all there is to it. You just have to make sure you are on the latest or correct version of Betaflight, one of the uh, development builds, and then you have to do the right steps in the GUI to get it to MSP mode for the GPS, and you should be all set. And like I said at the beginning, I promise this is going to be much easier in the future when this is built into the current releases of Betaflight.